Hello and welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Madrid and they take on Almeria. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Tremendous block. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Federico Valverde plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have big chance. What a block. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Understandably, the referee feels compelled to stop play here, given the injury situation. And so play will be restarted by means of a drop ball. Toure. An important interception. Moussa Diaby. And they need to get tighter. He's got to score! Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling. And they get their due reward. Well, there it is. It's a lovely finish. Just the right side of the post. Close, but good enough. nil then we're racing away here is it going to be tremendous intuition to win it back And Barba. And Valverde. Diaby. Could be. Oh, did so well to deny him. Who can they pick out? It might still be problematic. Diaby well the supporters think it's on element of risk there but he's won the ball Melero and Barba and threading it forward now the attack fizzled out The first half here comes to an end. 
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but he's... Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. Poor pass. Mbarba. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. But really sticking to the task defensively. Vinicius Junior. Mendes. And fed forwards. Just cutting off the supply. And foul it is then. And blocked for now. Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Akiemi. Melero. Tony Cross. On to Diaby. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Course. Shown inside. Diaby. An alert piece of defending. Fifteen minutes left for play. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. It's there for him. Will they profit? And it's in! Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Two nil now, and back underway. Ten minutes to go. Vinicius Junior. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Well, only minutes remaining now, and Real Madrid enjoying a commanding lead. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. And players waiting in the centre. And both hands on it, good goalkeeping. And the referee says that will do it, it's the end of the game, and it's a victory for Real Madrid. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. But it just seems in this game he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.